Hey guys, it's your girl London, and today we are going to be doing a little eye look with ColourPop's very last launch of 2021. So if you guys want to see what it is, then just stick around because we're going to get right into it. Okay guys, Happy New Year. It is 2022. So, ColourPop, they did their very last launch of 2021, and it was a pretty nice palette, and it was called By the Rosé, and this had a full collection with um, blushes, lipsticks, things like that. I did receive this in PR. Um, I did receive the full collection, but I don't have the full collection here with me. If you look at my Instagram, at Linda Brielle, you can see the full collection. Um, I will show you two products I did use from the collection here in a bit. So... By the Rosé. This kind of goes with their, I don't know if it was called Champagne, but it was like a, a New Year's palette that they did that was kind of nude um, and had like a yellow gold packaging. This kind of goes with that. So I think this is really, really pretty. They did release their bigger um, rose palette earlier in the year. And this to me reminds me of just a smaller version of that. So there is no mirror in this, but it does have, you know, some pretty nice decorativeness. Um, these are the same size as the pans that were in the Tinkerbell collection. They're kind of going with these larger pans lately, which I like because you get a little bit more bang for your buck, but this palette is $14 versus typically being $12. And I think it's because the pans are a little bit larger now. The pans now contain 9 grams or 0 0.32 ounces. I wish I had thought to get a ColourPop palette to bring with me over here so I could have compared, but I do not have it. But I'll put it in the information box, kind of what the standard 9 pm palettes uh, have as far as how much shadow is in there compared to this. So as you can see, this is a very peaky kind of pinky palette. The whole thing is pink. So even these lighter colors, this is just a light, light pink. Um, so if you don't like pink, this won't be for you. If you like pink, this may very well be for you. So I have to film some other videos today. So I thought, well, if I'm already going to be putting on my makeup, why not go ahead and film a video with you guys? So like I said, this is the last palette from ColourPop for 2021. This was released on December 30th, um, and like I said, it's $14. I I will put all the information in the information box, um, and clearly it is already 2022, so I'm a little late on posting the video, but I did post over on Instagram about it. So let's go ahead and let's get into this palette, shall we? We shall. So I will go ahead and, like I usually do, somewhere around here, I will put the palette and let you guys see what shadows I am using from the palette. So we're going to go ahead and I think we are going to start with something called Sunday Soiree. And this does not have any of the pressed glitters in it, which thank goodness it doesn't. But it does have one, two, three, four, five shimmers. Um, well, technically it's probably four shimmers and then it has one of the mattes with the sparkles in it. And then it has four true mattes in there. And like I said, we're going to use Sunday Soiree, which is kind of like a mid-tone, rosy um, nude. I am sitting here like trying to look into my viewfinder. I don't know why I don't have a mirror here. I am so like, guys, 2022 is already starting off rocky. You guys know I can't see the viewfinder, right? Remember, I am blind without my glasses. I'm just here just willy-nilly, just who knows what I think that I'm doing because I have no mirror. So let me get a palette over here that does have a mirror because your girl is slipping and tripping today. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's just put this on and see what it's going to do. I do have all of my base makeup on, and I did use the Milk Makeup Grip Eyeshadow Primer today. So I am continuing to use that and see how I like it. It's, I can say that it's an interesting eyeshadow primer. Very, very interesting. Okay, so let's go in for some more. This palette is not super powdery. So ColourPop usually is in between. It's not as powdery as ABH, but it also isn't as pressed as hard as some other shadows, kind of like a cover girl or whatnot. Um, this one is kind of in between. It feels pressed more firm than some of their other palettes have been pressed, which is fine because I feel like then you can build it up. And especially with these kind of pink tones, I think that that's appropriate because I think sometimes you can come out of the gate a little bit too much and then you can look like you're one of those white rats with kind of red around your eyes. So I really do like that color. 
I am a kind of pinky eyeshadow gal, so I enjoy pinks, pink tones, roses, mauves, things like that. So if you are not into that, this certainly is not going to be the palette for you at all because that's really all you have to work with here. Like there's a kind of quasi brown in here called Sweetness, but really it has more of a deep mauve undertone and it has uh, sparkling shimmers in it. So you don't have any kind of deep matte in here that is not a mauve or some shade of pink. Everything is a hue of pink. So again, if you're not into pinks, this certainly is not going to be for you. But so far, so good. I like, I mean, I tend to like ColourPop eyeshadows. I think that they are a good value. I think you get a good bang for your buck. And I think that overall, even if they were $20, I think that they would be worth it in my personal opinion. Okay, so we have that. And I do take it up past my crease because as you guys know, I do have hooded eyes. So we have got to create that crease, girl. We've got to create it. Now let's go ahead and we're going to go into Effervescent. And this again is just a deeper kind of pinky move. So you guys can see it's a little bit deeper than what we just put. We're just going now into the actual crease of my eye. So we're going slightly lower than that first color and just deepening it up. You can see it is far more kind of right out the gate pigmented than our first color, which is good because that's what we want. We just want to slightly deepen up that right there. So guys, it's 2022. What are you guys thinking about it? How is your year going thus far? Um, did anybody do anything for New Year's? Um, my husband and I, we live in New Jersey, so, you know, things are happening with the panorama, and uh, we just decided to stay at home. We watched a couple movies, we ate some dinner, um, and we actually stayed up this year to uh, until midnight. Usually we were asleep far before that. Now, we were in bed at about 9, but we were watching the... I think it was the TNT or CMT Nashville countdown. So we watched uh, Blake Shelton and um, a couple other people perform. And that was a real, real treat. Okay, very good. Now we're going to go into our corner color. And this was going to just help us deepen everything up. And this is the deepest shadow in the palette that doesn't have sparkles in it. So this is the deepest matte in the palette and this is called Savor It. And again, it's just another hue of this pinky movie color. So as you can see, like I said in the beginning, if you're not into kind of like movies, pinks, um, I know some people may call these even like deep cranberries, then this palette is going to be a no Sir, no ma'am for you because that's really all you have to work with. But I really like the way that this is turning out thus far because I had really no plan for this palette. But as I'm looking, unless you're going to do like a one and done shadow look, I feel like although this is a pretty palette, the shades are so, the main shades, so the main mattes are so similar. They're just like one tone different. And when you put them on the eye, you can see it. But to be honest with you, they're not huge differences. They're slight differences. I feel like you, this palette is going to tend to give you a bit of the same look um, when you start to do more than one eyeshadow look. I think you might find that it's kind of giving you the same eyeshadow look over and over and over again. So now we're going to go into my favorite brush, which is the JH30. You guys know this is my favorite brush to go in and blend things out. Make sure they are the way that I would like them to be. It's nice. It's fluffy. It is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite brush. I just absolutely love this brush. Okay, and now we're going to go in with some shimmer. So I think, oh, mm, let me see. So we have Cheers Babe, which is kind of like a pinky champagne. And then we have Over Ice. Ooh, yes. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do Over Ice. This is a very soft. This feels like one of their Super Shocks. This reminds me of 
some other shades that they have in their palettes where they're kind of the pinky champagne gold. But I think that this is going to be a nice kind of contrasty pop to the rest of the look. And as you guys know, I do take this into my crease because again, we have hooded eyes and it's going to transfer up there anyway. So I would rather put it there myself and kind of be able to control the placement than to let it do it on its own and it look haphazard and kind of wonky. So I just do it myself. So yeah, we stayed in for New Year's, did all the traditional Happy New Year's at 12. Um, for the most part, my family is here on the East Coast. My husband's family is back home in California, so you get those 3 o'clock in the morning and Happy New Year's when you're already like totally sleeping um, because for a moment in time we were in the future um, and we were already in the new year and they were not. I always hate that. I always hate how we have time zones. Time zones make you just feel like time really is irrelevant. It's just what we make it. JH30 again. It's just what we make it because the fact that I can be in the new year and California can be three years behind just goes to show how irrelevant time really is. And it's just this construct that we have made up to help us better be able to navigate the days to have purpose and be motivated and, you know, kind of be focused on day, night, you know, sleep, this, that, and the other. But it really, in my eyes, feels very kind of irrelevant and just a construct that can be easily changed if we wanted it to, kind of like the um, changing of the clocks forward and backwards. And I think it's, what is it, like Colorado or New Mexico or Hawaii? There's some states that don't actually ever change the time. They all year round keep the same time. They never fall forward, or they never spring forward and they never fall back. Um, which again, just goes to show time irrelevant. So I really think that we should just get rid of that stupid spring forward and fall back. I think it's ridiculous. And I would like it to be sunny in the winter. I think that might be kind of cool. So we just went in with this brush and we went back into over ice and just put it right where my fingers couldn't get it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the lower lash line and we're going to take sweetness and this is the almost brown looking color. Um, it looks like a brownie kind of movey mixed together color but it has some little sparkles in it. Now typically mattes with shimmers don't translate. It, they just blow off and it becomes a matte but I'm going to use this on my lower lash line so we are going to kind of see if in fact it sticks with tradition. Now I can see the sparkles. So this seems to be holding onto the sparkles pretty well and it might be because I'm using a smaller brush and it's not like a fluffy brush that I'm blending it out with. So this may be something that if you use it on the lid, as long as you use a packing brush, you might be able to get the brown and the sparkles to stick. Okay, like that. And then at the risk of being jaundice, what we're going to do is we're going to take this brush and we're gonna go back into the first color we ever used which is Sunday Soiree, and I'm just going to very, very kind of deliberately and lightly put a little on here and just kind of blend this out a bit. Um, and that's the good thing about this one being a little bit harder pressed, um, is it allows you to pick up just a little bit, because sometimes these kind of rosy colors can certainly make me look very lab radish. And that is not a good look, and that is not the look that I am going for at all, so. The fact that you can build these up, that's when they really, really play nicely with what you want to do. So all the time, it's not really great to have such pigmented pow shadows. Sometimes, you know, being able to build them up really is key. We're going to take the, hmm, take another brush. It's a little bit, not too heavy. We're going to take this, what is this? This is a JH40 brush kind of pencil -y. I'm going to go into the color, I think it's called, oh, Picnic Basket. I thought it said Peony Basket. They have it written like in an almost cursive. 
and it's a lighter pink, and we're going to use this as a brow bone highlight. Just put a little on. Make sure you brush it in because it is, you know, white, so it's, or I shouldn't say white, it's a pink, but, you know, they tend to be, when they're that light and they have that much white pigment in them, they can be a little powdery or ashy looking, so you definitely want to make sure if you're using this, that you definitely, definitely blend it in and don't leave it because it has a tendency to probably leave you looking slightly crazy like you opened up a, a bag of powdered donuts and it got into your eyebrows and just sat there. So thus far, like that, we're going to use the same brush and we're going to do our inner corner highlight and for that, we're going to use Cheers Babe. And this is like a, mm, like a pink with some silver in it. So instead of the gold, it's like a pink with, with a little bit of silver. Uh, silver and gold. It's just not as gold and pink as our lid color. And I like to put it right here in the corner too. So that way it kind of goes into the lower lash line. But it just gives you a nice kind of sense of brightness. And I always do kind of like a C. Instead of just putting it in the corner, I do like a curvature. Because I like it to go kind of up my nose and then down by my eyes. Again, just to... Brighten it up a bit. So we have that done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do liner and lashes, come back, show you guys the final look, and then also talk about two other products from, the, from this collection that I have on. So you can kind of see those and see that I have them on and see what you guys think about. So give me two seconds and I will be right back. Okay guys, we are back and this is the look. So let me give you something a little closer. Let me show you. I like it. Now I am somebody, like I said, who enjoys pink. So I don't think this is anything to write home to mom about. I don't think this is something that you have to try to squeeze $14 out of your wallet and find a way to, to purchase it. I think it's cute. It's adorable. I like it. But I think that if you have any of ColourPop's other kind of maroon palettes, if you have their larger rose color palette, I think that you'll be good to go, Joe. Um, because I think that these colors aren't necessarily unique, clearly. Um, and they really give you a look that a lot of their other shadows can give you. Now, what I did for the liner was I used my Patrick Ta liner. You guys know I love this liner. This is in the color Rich Brown. And what I did was I did it in my waterline. And then I also put it on the top lash. So I lined the lashes. And then what I did was I smudged it out. And when I smudge it on the top lash, it makes it look, to me, a little more sultry and a little less harsh of a line. Even though it's brown and brown is less harsh than black, I think that it really kind of creates a smooth, kind of soft look, especially because we're using rose tones. I think that it was appropriate to go with it. For lashes, I use my Give Them La La Beauty Mascara. You guys know I have been loving on this for a long time, particularly because the formula feels like you've had it for a couple of weeks right out of the gate. It's not too wet, it's not too dry, and I really just love this brush. I love the bullet kind of size of it, and it's just, the shape is absolutely, absolutely perfect. So that's what I did for the lower lash line. In the palette, we used Savor It Effervescence Over Ice Picnic Basket, Cheers Babe, Sweetness, and Sunday Soiree. So we use seven shades out of a nine paint palette. If you guys know me, I like to be able to use at least 50% of the palette for an eye look. That makes me feel like it's worth investing in to keep using. If I can't use that many shades because they don't go together, they muddy, whatever, then it really turns me off to the palette. So we definitely used over 50% of the palette. I would say this is probably, what, about 85% of the palette. Um, we just didn't use two shades. So I think that, that is fantastic. So I think that overall... This is a really, really nice palette, but like I said, I think that this is nothing to write home to mom about. It's nothing to try to rush out and go get. And I also think that you're going to end up getting something very similar to this look every time you use it because the shades are very similar. And I will give you guys some swatches in two seconds after I tell you the other products that I use. So for my cheeks, I use the Super Shock Cheek um, formula here that they have in the color No Way. This is a Super Shock Cheek Pearlize. This was a little different. When I put it on my cheeks, it went on with color, but it also went on with a sheen, um, almost like a highlighter. So what I did was I had to use another um, shadow on top of it. So this is what it looks like out of the gate. 
and then this is what it looks like. So it's a really pretty iridescent pink and almost would be really pretty on the eyes too. So just remember, they have two more um, Super Shock cheeks in this collection. Remember if you use them, they're all pearlized, so they are not matte. You are gonna get a shine and they, they give off color, but they give off more shine than anything. Um, oh, let me get one of these wipes right here. I'm going to wipe my hands off so I can show you guys the rest of the colors. So like I said, I thought it was very pretty. Um, I saw Pearl Eyes, but I guess they didn't really register with me. So when I put it on, I was like, oh, okay. It almost looks kind of like a wash of color and then the sheen. So what I needed to do was put on a another one um, over the top of it, which is fine. Because then it kind of gave me an extra highlight with my highlight and my blush. They also have some lip glosses that came with them. There was three, or lip lacquers, and the one that I used was the color First Glass. The other two are um, Moby Pinky Tones. This one is also, but it's more on the nude side. So what I did was I lined my lips with the BFF liner number three, uh, which is kind of like a mid-tone nude, and I just put this on like this. So as you guys can see, I put on my lips, how kind of nudey it looks. But when you rub it in, it's kind of like a little bit of a rosy nude. Um, so I really like that. These aren't sticky. I don't think I've had their lip lacquers before. Um, they're in between, kind of like feeling like a smooth gloss, almost oil-esque, um, but having pigment. They're not sticky. The lipstick is not giving me any of that. And as you saw, it wasn't drying down. It's not cracking. So this is a very comfortable formula. So I would say that's a nice one to pick up if you're interested in the lip lacquers. So let's get into these swatches, shall we? We shall. So we're going to go down, um, as I would say, hot dog way um, for you guys to see this. So let me take off my Fitbit so that I have some extra room on my arm. And we are going to give it to you. So this is called Sparkling. And we did not use this shade. And as you see, this is kind of a white pink. So that would be pretty good for an inner corner highlight also. Sunday Soiree is the matte that we used when we first started off. Then we have Ripe. And Ripe we did not use. And this is a pink kind of metallic right there. Okay, then we're gonna go into Picnic Basket. Picnic Basket is a color that I use for my brow bone. And when you put it on here, it does look like a chalky, pinky white. And that's exactly kind of what it looked like. So that's why I said you have to make sure that you really buff it out. Um, Cheers Babe is what we used in our inner corner. And this is kind of a lighter iridescent shifting pink. Sweetness is that kind of brownie color. It's the deepest color in the palette next to a matte, but this one has some shimmers in it. So if you don't like mattes with shimmers, this will not be your thing, but this is the closest kind of brown that's in the palette right there. And as you can see, it has a, a hint tone of that kind of mauvey, rose also it's not kind of a true chocolate or anything it kind of has that same undertone to it and as you can see it does have the sparkles so we're on our last row over ice is what we put on our entire lid so over ice we're gonna put mm, we're gonna put over ice right here on the knuckles and this is a very very pretty color that's right there that's over ice So that's the one we put on our lid. And then we had Effervescent. Effervescent is what we put in our crease. And I'm gonna put this going the other way. So this is Effervescent right there. Very pretty, very bold. And then Savor It is what we put in our outer corner for our V. And this is a true, true kind of mauve maroon. So this is the palette right there. Like I said, I think it made a really, really pretty eyeshadow look. But again, nothing to write home to mom about. Um, 
As you can see though, it is taking a little bit to get them off even with the wipes. So these are going to have some stain power, but it doesn't look like anything stained my hand. But I do still have some shimmers. So good palette. Nothing to write home to mom about. Um, actually, my fingers are stained right here. So even after wiping them. So I think that you may get a little stain in. Um, so if you don't have the $14 or if you're thinking about buying something else and need the $14, I, you, you definitely can skip it. Um, I'm glad that I got it in PR. I'm glad that I have it, but I would not have necessarily bought this on my own because I have so many other ColourPop palettes that have these rosy tones. Like I said, I got the big kind of rose palette that they have. Um, I think if you have that, you definitely don't need this, but I think if you have that, you definitely could use this if you wanted to, but again, it's just not necessary, although it is very pretty, and I think we created a very pretty look. But it's not needed. I like the lip lacquer. I think it's very, very nice. I like the blush. A little luminous for me. I think that I prefer more of a matte than putting my highlight on. But I think you could also use these as a bit of a highlight instead of a blush too if you wanted to. Or you could use them as an eyeshadow. So and that was the By the Rose palette, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please give me two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Not one, but two. If you have not already, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of all my new videos. Follow me at London Brielle on Instagram and on TikTok. It's official underscore London Brielle if you want to follow me there. So guys, tell me about your new year. Tell me if you enjoy the palette. Tell me if you've already purchased anything. I know there's already sales going on again. Pat McGrath has another 30% off sale. I'm like, whoa, what's happening here? People must have really been hit by the panorama um, because there are sales continuing all year long. So guess if you like makeup or anything else, this is the year to buy stuff because things just seem to be continually on sale. So let's have a little conversation down below. And guys, I love you. I miss you. And I will see you. On the flip side, I love you guys. Bye.